Good afternoon, class. We are in day three now of our class, so I just want to touch base on a couple more things, make sure we're all comfortable, make sure we're doing what we need to be doing. Um, I sent out a couple of emails slash announcements already today in regards to where we're at, where we should be going kind of stuff. Um, but I want to talk in a little more detail right now about the Module Zero Explain Your Work uh, assignment. So I sent some feedback back to everybody that completed it before 4 p.m. yesterday. So that was Tuesday by 4 p.m. I sent back feedback to anybody that completed it by then. If you completed it after that, I'm gonna be working on some feedback uh, throughout the day today. Um, and uh, the way that I'm providing that feedback is I'm sending you a message through the My Open Math system. This is not how I'm normally gonna provide feedback for things. The reason I'm doing it a little bit different in this case is really just to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to see where those messages are in the My Open Math. And so that's kind of the idea, it's sort of a double purpose that way. So you can expect to see some feedback, you can expect it through the messaging system, and then we can see how the messaging system works as well. Um, so in order to access the messaging system, you wanna log into any My Open Math assignment in module one or beyond. So if you log into the module one video lesson or the module one problem set, um, so those are gonna get you access to My Open Math. And then in the upper right hand corner, you should see a little icon of an envelope if you have new mail or just even the word messages will get you to the messages uh, area. So that's what you're gonna be looking for to get to those messages and I should have sent you a message if you completed it before 4 p.m. yesterday and if not, I'll be sending you a message at some point today. Um, the other thing I wanna to touch base on in regards to that assignment is for those of you that are not attaching a video because the video is too big or it wasn't attaching right and instead you're using some sort of sharing option that might be YouTube, that might be Google Drive, perfectly fine, but make sure you're providing me a link that I can access. And so to make sure that I can access it, you wanna be looking at your privacy settings. So if you're creating a YouTube video, you don't wanna set it to private. You wanna set it to at least unlisted Unlisted means anybody with a link can view it, or instead of unlisted, making it public, whichever you're more comfortable with. If you're using Google Drive or Microsoft OneNote, in your, or OneDrive rather, and you're providing a link to me, then make sure again that your privacy settings aren't set to private. Make sure, uh, I know in Google Drive, it's called anyone with a link can view, is what you're looking for. So when you go to the sharing link, make sure that you're uh, looking at those options, those privacy options, make sure that me as a separate person will be able to do it. I'm not gonna be able to accept these types of things through email. It's just way too, too disconnected with as many students as I have to be having some of your work over here in my open math, some through email that I then have to open both systems and look at. Too easy to lose something, I don't wanna lose your work. So that's why I wanna make sure that it's all in the same place so that we're all looking at the same thing. I can grade everybody's together in the same area. Nothing's lost, nothing's disconnected. So that's kind of the reason behind that. And but again, make sure that your sharing, uh, sharing privileges are set so that I can see them. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is extra credit in this class. The extra credit in this class is all earned by clicking on the extra credit menu item in Blackboard. And then as you earn different things, as you become eligible for them based on a score on a practice exam, score on problem sets, or whatever the case might be, a new quiz will pop up. The quiz is not a tough quiz. The quiz has one question. The question is, do you want your extra credit? <laughs> the correct answer is yes. It automatically gets put in the grade center that way. And so that's just a nice semi-automated way to make sure that you're in control of your extra credit. You know what extra credit you've earned. You can see which quizzes appear as far as what you're eligible for. So it's kind of like or um, earning medals in a video game or something like that when you're uh, playing a game and you get a new achievement. Kind of the same idea that those achievements become available to you in the extra credit area and then you just kind of click on them and say, yep, I earned this one, I want credit for it. Kind of what's going on there. Um, lastly, I sent out an announcement uh, just a moment ago uh, entitled Investigating Statistics in the Media. It's, in pertaining, it's pertaining to that uh, investigating stats assignment. Please read that very carefully. I provide lots of good information so that you can get full credit on that assignment. Um, unfortunately, if you don't read the assignment carefully, it's easy to misunderstand it and get very few points on it. Um, it is a one attempt kind of assignment too, although we will have more of them throughout the semester. So you wanna make sure that you do your best job possible. All right, so have yourselves a wonderful day. Um, tomorrow will be our deadline day. I'll send out uh, some announcements just reminding you that stuff's gonna be due by 11.59 on Thursday. So anyhow, have yourselves a wonderful day as you're making your way through the course material, and I will talk to you soon.